A lot of people say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but this is not what we had in mind. This is the latest viral challenge, the cereal challenge. It involves pouring breakfast cereal into the open mouth of another person, adding the milk, and then if you have oh. enough time, enjoying what's left with your own spoon. Oh. Here to break this down, our hashtag drop the sugar challenge producer, Justin. Ooh. Now we don't have to do this now, do we? No, no. Uh, guys, this is dumb. D-U-M-B. Why do you think people are doing this? Is it just trying to up, up the uh, shock factor well, I mean, more and more? that's a crazy visual. Yeah. I mean, that is yeah. lunacy, well, pouring that and stuff. And should we talk about shaking. the fact that it's not sanitary oh, to no. eat cereal out of someone's uh, mouth? There's a lot of people that are bored out there. Uh, so uh, social media gives them the chance to do stuff like this. I want to talk about this because as the Drop the Sugar representative, I've kind of dropped cereal from my diet as well. And if you go to the grocery store, you know, yes, there are healthy options, but it's kind of like finding like a needle in a haystack because all the bright boxes are like all oh, this stuff, you know, cartoons and all this stuff. So that's there. You just got to like look for it. Look and for then, it. And then in Whole some grain, low in sugar, high in fiber, things like that. Fiber's really big. Portion control. I don't know about you guys, but I have a cereal bowl. It's like huge. And most serving sizes for cereal is like, you know, barely a cup. And I could get a couple cups in there. So if you're eating a cereal with lots of added sugar or, you know, no fiber or protein or something, that can add up. One of my first steps if I'm walking down the cereal aisles, I will flip the box around. Look at how much added sugar is in there. It, it becomes really apparent <laughs> when you start flipping boxes around and you see how much added sugar there is in certain types of cereals. So I want to ask you, um, what was your like number one way of kicking the high sugar cereals? Was it just stick to I, I just don't eat it. I don't eat them anymore. I, I've, I've, become, I've, I've become an oatmeal man. There uh, you go. So breakfast is oatmeal? Oatmeal. So I, I, I'm still doing my smoothies in the morning, and then do, I do an oatmeal later in the morning. But this guy, no, he's all about oats. And I, I, I oats. wasn't listening to him. I was still having my sugary cereals. But I think that just that change has been big for me. Because I, like I said, I used to have like the, the really high sugar you know, stuff in the morning, and then by, you know, lunch, my blood sugar was just like, blam, and I was not a good person to be around, so. Oats and oat-based cereals, one of the great things, they they have beta-glucane in them, naturally lowers your cholesterol, plus that fiber helps keep you full. When you're eating just pure sugary type breakfast, you don't have any of that, that satisfying fiber, spikes your blood sugar levels, that, of course, in turn, creates this cascade of events that can ultimately, if you do it each and every day, lead to obesity.